what would you say your motivation is today? Thank still singing. You. Loving Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> I mean, he's when I when I um, came to know who he was and what he's done in my life and the gift. See, now I recognize it's a gift. People can sing, but you don't use it the right way. You're just saying. But I have a tendency to believe that when I sing, something is happening in the atmosphere. So it has to be an anointing on it. Follow me, and I think that's where the peace comes with, with a psalmist. A psalmist is going to do something for the Lord. It's going to be inspiring, whatever it is. Everybody can sing. We can sing this. You know what I'm saying? How many are psalmists? How many do it dedicated to the Lord? Untainted, un, you know. Wow. Okay, so what was it in your life that you said, this is who I am, this is what I'm going to do, this is me? I would say that in um, so many so many facets, when, you, when I'm trying to share with you what happened, it's so, it's so many things that make me who I am, and it's all of it, you yes. know what I'm saying? All the little things make me who I am, but I'm going to say this one thing, a defining, I had several defining moments, okay. like this moment happened this way really happened. It's happened to me, the final moment for me happened when I was in, uh, I was leaving work one day and the Spirit of the Lord met me in the car and was talking to me and before I know it, he led me into a parking lot. I had an encounter with God or the call of my life in the parking lot. Wow. You know, just, not just any parking lot. It was in the parking lot of an adult bookstore. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, that's, it's amazing what happened and what led me there and what was said to me telling me there, but that was the beginning when he gave me my assignment mm -hmm. and then I was on that quest. He gave me an assignment and he said, I'm going to use you uh, to redeem it. But I asked him, why am I here? Because I didn't want to come here. Because he was telling me that, yeah, you come here, you know, and you know me and you come here. And I said, Lord, I didn't want to come here today. There was nothing in me. I didn't want to be medicated. I was on my way home. And he said, you did. So I asked him, why am I here? He okay. said, then he heard, found with his voice, it's like I'm talking to you, I'm going to use you to redeem my men back to me. And I said, how am I going to do that? He said, by the words of your testimony and the words I'll give you. Wow. Not the beginning. You know, when he was talking, it made me think about that scripture. Actually, when um, Saul at the time had an encounter with Jesus. Oh, domestic road. And the, on the road to Damascus. <laughs> yes. And he was blinded by the light. And he was actually, and Jesus was asking him, why are you persecuting me? It's me that you're persecuting. So the way you describe that story, it kind of showed me how God can take what was meant for the world to destroy you and turn it into God's glory. I just think that's amazing. So it's almost like you had a Saul Paul encounter. Yeah, they should consider it. Yeah. All right. Because, that, yeah, because the blindness got up. I, I actually saw my, I mean, it's so many things that happened when I went home. I had the vision. Yes. He was telling me all these things were going to happen. Now, remind you. This happened over 20 years ago. Oh, wow. Over 20 years ago. Oh, wow. Okay. And I've been on that quest trying to make that, getting to understand what do you mean, you know, how do I make that manifest? You're going to use me. You know what I'm saying? I, brother. And then, then after he told me that, uh, and I was wondering, you know, how it's going to happen, went home, saw the vision and all that. The Sunday of that week, I went to church praising him like I always do. I had another encounter with a brother who came up to me and said he wanted what I had. That was another defining moment. That gave me evidence of what he, what Jesus had spoke to me in that parking lot. It was going to happen, just like that. My wow. brother came to me, saw me praising God, and wanted what I had. And then he was the one that told me, God's going to use you to live a man. Whoa. Wow. That's a lot. It's That's a lot. beautiful, though. That's I'm glad you stepped up to the plate to answer that yeah. calling. That's good. It's the power of Jesus. Yes, it is. <laughs> well, I also want to discuss, you have a form coming out called the Edify Form, I believe? The Edify Form. Forum, okay. Yeah. It's a um, it's a place I want to build. It's like a city of refuge. City of refuge. Re city of refuge for okay. men. That is my desire. I'm living now to serve God and everything that I want to do, like selling my art, CDs, doing crusades, um, and street uh, ministry. It's to raise funds to build the FI Forum. Okay. I want a facility that 12 men can come and be disciples. I'm not talking about a whole lot of knowledge and, you know, head knowledge and all that stuff. No, I'm talking about intimacy with Christ. Knowing who He is, knowing who you are, 
Okay. You know what I'm saying? It's, it, it's all tied into God asking that call, Adam, where are they? It's all tied in. Because what I have to find out is every man needs to know where they are. And it's too many men are out here despondent and, and all in despair and trying to find ways to survive and not really valuing them themselves. I want to take them to a place outside of their environment. Because you can get be a lot of programs to help you, but if you're in the same environment, then you don't have to help. Churches are limited to what they can do. They can get you to a point. But now for some, in situations, you're going to have to have somebody walk with you who's been through. You are saying? Okay. Who's been through. Yeah. And know that you need, for every man needs to know where they are. And every man needs to have an intimate relationship with Christ. Not in your head. It has to be, it has, it has to come from your head to your heart. It has to be something that you do. Now, everything in this word will prove to every man you can be greater than who you, than who you believe you are or what the world says you are. But anyway, that's another story yeah. itself. But I want this edified form to be a place where they can come and be um, restored. You know, just be restored. We build. The, the word says that we can. And I'm pulling it on this foundation is Luke um, 22, 32. When you have been strengthened, strengthen your brother. Yes. I'm always saying, man, I have been strengthened. And I see too many other brothers in despair or don't have the joy that I have. And I want them to have it. I want them to have it. And I want this perform to do it. I'm going to do it in Simon for with Jesus. All what I'm doing it for is asking that one question. Adam, where are thou? So I'm going to do a crusade, pull them in, excite them with worship, yes. testimonies. Because I know I'm not the only one that God had did something for. And oh, they yeah. have been strengthened. Yeah. So I'm saying, hey, we got too many brothers are not strengthened. What are the ones that are strengthened doing? So I want to create that path. That's forward. a good question. What are they doing? No. I have to ask my own self. See, I don't even ask them now. I ask myself, what am I doing? Yes. And that turned me around with saying, Lord, you're going to let me do the crusade, and I'm going to have a building where they help me produce the Edify Collection, the, the artwork. Yes. Help me produce the CDs. Help me do the crusade. This will be your form of learning the skill. Because my partners with me want to have them, you know, learn things that I know. I know about, you know, the graphics part, you know, the part how to set yeah. that up. Um, and one of my friends knows computer. He's the IT. Okay. He'll bring that to the table. And music, you know, creating music. Okay. All of the things that I do, these will be like little skills that I will train them to do. And then maybe the edify form can train somebody else. Somebody else will come inside and share that skill. It's all about men who have been strengthened, strengthening their brother. And I'm not talking about just information. Okay. Now, um, my piece is to have you intimate with Jesus. Once you get there, then everything else will fall into place. That's what happened to me. Wow. So that's what that's the edified form is about. It's not like a spiritual network. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And I that's like what that. the word said. That's what he commanded. When okay. you have been strengthened, yes. strengthen your brother. Okay. So I'm about okay. to That's a lot right there. I like that. That's exciting. Okay. <laughs> well, there's many different things you expounded upon. After all is said and done, everything you've been called to do, when you feel it's accomplished, where do you see yourself? I see myself ultimately in heaven, in glory, singing praises, drawing pictures, Amen. and glorifying God. Okay. Okay. <laughs> We're going to thank you, Edify, for joining us tonight on Artist hey, Corner. Thank, thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Good talking to you. All right. Good talking to you. Good night, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed that. Have a good night.